are joined now by the stars of the hit TLC series, 19 Kids and Counting. And here they are, the Duggar clan, the four eldest daughters, though. Jenna, Jill, Ginger, and Jessa are authors. They have just written a book where they share never-before-told stories of life in this mega family. It's titled Growing Up Duggar. It's all about relationships and girls. I think that is so true, especially in your case. I love how honest you are, and you talk about really uh, things that we can all use, like uh, the way your dad, Jim Bob, and mom, Michelle, raised you, um, the obedience game. What, will one of you share with us sort of how that worked and how it has gone from childhood to your adult life? It was really from when we were little, they would teach us to be obedient, you know, building good character by telling one of us, you know, go touch the boy's bed and run and go touch the front door and come back. And then now, like, it just, it's it's just a little way, and they still do it with the little kids, but it's a fun way the for them to learn good character and quick obedience. You know, if it's not instant, it's not obedience at all, and then it plays over into other areas of life as we've grown older. And it, and it was sort of, it was like Simon Says, yes. you know, where you uh -huh. didn't even realize it. How do you think that's helped you develop your character as, as women? I think it's really just like overall the character that our parents have instilled in us from the time we were little, you know, playing with toys and um, a quarrel or something, you know, they work it out right then and try not to let things just build up. We study different character qualities. My mom always, everything is centered around like character. So learning kindness and patience and self control and, and all those types of things. We would memorize like definitions for each of those words and then just practice that with our siblings to build strong relationships there. And, and it is all about relationships. You, you young ladies are now of the age, um, you know, and you're, you're very honest about, about dating and how it works in your world and courting. Will you share with us? <laughs> well, courtship, it's a new season of life um, that I've entered into here. And yeah, it's exciting. Um, it's, it's and you're, like, you're living it right now, Justin. Yeah, yeah, I am. <laughs> Congratulations. Um, we, we call it dating, like dating with a purpose. And so not just like a little frivolous like here and there, like really considering the person as a potential life partner. And so, yeah, it's very exciting to see and, and, and Ginger, you guys even get the, the guys involved in the family, right? If you see if there's a guy with potential, you, you ask, you really, you, you we rely on the boys. Brothers. So they always like to check him out and make sure that the young man has character and that he's going to treat them with respect. And that's something that we talk about in the book in the chapter about guys is what we're looking for, you know, and things that we want to we really want to look at not just, you know, oh, he's a cute guy, but you want to see, like, the heart of the matter. You know, is he going to be a good father? Is he, is he slow to anger? You know, things like that. So we have a list in there that just kind of helps girls really think deeper than just the surface. Yeah, and I love, too, you, when you talk about um, how you all get along, uh, the buddy system in a family, I think is a really beautiful mm -hmm. thing, sort of going, okay, I got you, because that's a metaphor for life, is mm -hmm. having each other's back, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah, and we want to be each other's best friends as well, and so that's something that we've done ever since we were little, and so the buddy system helps, especially when we're out and there's like little ones just teaming up, or one big team, yeah. family teams. So. And, and, I, and also, um, there's a really nice story about laughing with each other and not at each other. Mm -hmm. And it would not be nice if we all did that. <laughs> We're not perfect, though. It doesn't yeah. happen all the time. Yeah. Is there anything that you're, that you're not perfect at? Because you, are, you do open up. You're pretty, you're mm -hmm. pretty honest about, you know, you, you are, um, your, your, your core values are clearly so intact, but it's, you're real. We yeah. are. And, and, you know, you've been honest, Michelle, Mom, you've, right. you talked about your struggle with bulimia. Right. What do you hope That's readers incredible. to get out of sharing that information? Well, I think as the girls and I talked about that, we realized that everybody has their struggles in life, and whenever we are able to overcome those struggles with God's help, I think we want to encourage others in that endeavor to hopefully be able to be a source of help because we, like we said, we're not a perfect family, but we have found Pretty perfect answers. though. I mean, this is pretty <laughs> amazing. I mean, uh, unbelievably well behaved and it's been such a pleasure. I hope you've enjoyed Social Square. Yes, we've had fun, yeah. Um, we've, a lot of our viewers checking in, um, Jim, Bob, and Michelle. Um, uh, new season's about to start. 
it, we all know 19 kids and counting, so April are we first. still counting? Yes, are we, we are still in different ways, I think. We're excited. We would love to have more children, but we'll wait and see. I guess we'll have to check in at the Tune next in. season. Two, wow, April now first. there's a tease, everybody. This season premiere there, <laughs> April 1st. April 1st, and, and your new book, mm -hmm. Girls? Growing Authors, up younger, yeah. yeah, and I, I know you published before, but now yeah. you, you ladies did this on your own. Congratulations! Thank but, you. Growing up Duggar is it's all about relationships. Um, is in stores and the new season, April first. Mm -hmm. Thank you all.